We're living in a remake world, and nothing is safe. This is well understood by now. But we still can't help looking at some of the movies that are genuinely, actually being adapted into television series and wondering, what the hell people are thinking. Buckle up, this is going to get neaky. Related article There are only ever seven movie stars advertisement continue reading BELOW1. True Lies Simonit Sigma via Getty Images The film Arnold Schwarzenegger is a secret agent so secret that even his wife, Jamie Lee Curtis, doesn't know, and instead defaults to being constantly frustrated that he misses family events blah blah blah. Realizing that she is bored with her humdrum life, he arranges for her to go on a fake mission, which of course ends up as a terrorist incident. Why the TV show is a bad idea This could go either of two ways Point one, An uncomfortable paternalistic show whose narrative is moved forward solely by everyone constantly lying to each other Point to a kind of sequel in which they are both secret agents. This would be in serious danger of achieving Mr. and Mrs. Smith levels of smugness Point two. Underworld Sony Pictures advertisement continue reading Bellothy film The Cake Begin Sale starring series about the endless war between vampires and lichens which are just werewolves with a more confusing name. Pretty much every film there are five so far follows the same basic structure, starting out with the lichens as villains, but revealing shock horror that the vampires are the real bad guys. This never becomes any less surprising, naturally. Why the TV show is a bad eyed underworld feels very much played out by now. The most recent installment, Blood Wars, was its least profitable outing, not to mention that another movie is in the works too. Creator Len Wiseman has promised that the show will be a pretty big departure from the films, but unless it decides to depart into an entirely different property, this will probably still be rubbish. Point three. Snowpiercer the film Bong Joon-ho's Tilda Swinton and Chris Evans starring movie itself an adaptation of a French comic is a post-apocalyptic thriller, where the last survivors of mankind live on a train speeding across the frozen earth. The upper classes live in fancy apartments at the front while the back is filled with progressively more downtrodden individuals. What could possibly go wrong? Why the TV show is a bad idea it's all set on a train the limited space, an allegorical premise feel like constraints that will seriously limit the scope of the show. We're happy to be proved wrong in this case, but we're skeptical. P.S. Super Train was one of the most expensive TV flops of all time. Point four. Divergent Ian, 